Hey there, in this video, I wanna show you guys how to use coupons and discounts in big commerce. Before we get started, my name is Cal. I'm a developer, a store owner just like you, and I run an online community for store owners like you and I. And uh, I'll have a link at the end. Let me share my screen and show you guys how this works. Okay, so when you come into your e-commerce, your big commerce store, you go under marketing and then promotions. Now there is a coupon codes. This is basically the coupon code system that they replaced with the new promotions system in 2019, as you can see. Um, so I think that the goal here is for them to deprecate the old coupon code section. So I just wouldn't use that anymore or at all. Just don't even look at it. What you want to do is you want to go to promotions, right? And promotions has two things. It has automatic. This used to be called discounts. And then it's got coupons, which used to be called coupons and still is. And what is the difference? So the difference is coupons require a coupon code to be entered and discounts don't. Let me walk you into coupons. So uh, if you're wanting to do a coupon, you click on the coupon tab and you can see all the existing coupons that you have created or that I have not created. And all you gotta do now is go to create and you can create it with the advanced editor, which is the newest, latest, greatest or the legacy editor which is just a little bit simplified, right? So for most of you, just use the advanced editor. And what you wanna do is you wanna come in here and name the coupon, whatever, something so that you can remember what it is. This is where you issue a coupon code. And it could be whatever you want. It does say it's gotta be alphanumeric with uh, underlines or dashes only. I wouldn't recommend either, but, I would recommend, you know, using something here for your coupon code that people can remember, like new tin or something like that. Something that's really easy for them to spell and, you know, is reflective of what they're getting out of it maybe. And then there's a scheduling feature where you can say that it starts at today or whenever, starts next Monday. You can add an end time if you want, or you can get rid of the end time. You can say only let it be used on certain days like Mondays. That's really cool. And um, that would be really great. Like if you had like a Monday only thing, like every week, 10% off on Mondays. Um, this is, you know, a lot of the things that you see in here were available in the one that was here before 2019. So it's pretty cool options. But at a minimum, you got to have a starting date of today or whenever. And then down here, you say target the customers if, and there has to be a match. So it says if currency is a dollar, you know, dollars, right? And um, you can add additional conditions, like say somebody's in a specific customer group or customer segment, or if they're in Florida or the US or something like that. So you can use this to kind of limit it to only people in a certain geographical range, which is really nice. Down here, you can add a rule. Let me see here, it says, what conditions must a customer satisfy to receive the discounts you're offering? So what do they gotta do? Maybe they're gonna do buy one, get one free. Maybe they're going to do uh, buy, you know, three products, get 50% off, it says, or like, you know, buy two, get one free, buy two, get 50% off, you know, something like that. Discount off of the sub of the subtotal, like 20% off you know, orders over 80 or whatever, spend $100, get free shipping, buy X products, get Y amount off. So example given here, buy three items. Oh, I'm sorry, buy X products for Y. So get three for a dollar, you know, that's pretty cool. You can do custom rules. And if you do that, then it brings you to a rules engine here where now you can get fancier and like basically build your own rule using conditions, right? Which is pretty cool. Once you get all that stuff done, you uh, you would add the rule to permission if you're doing it this way. I'm gonna click leave because I didn't wanna do that. I'm just gonna go back here and say, let's just do buy one, get one. Or let's do buy X products, get percentage off the next one. So now it's gonna ask me some additional questions, right? So I chose if you buy X products, then you get a reward. So now I gotta say, okay, well, what are those X products, right? Is it, I need to buy three product, oops, I need to buy, uh, sorry, that's the wrong product, wrong button. I'm gonna buy three, and this could be off of 
any product or specific products or products in a category or products in, you know, Nike brand or whatever. I, I deleted all my brands in a previous video, so I can't choose that one. But if I chose category, I could say this is just off of the bath category. So you buy three bath items and then what happens? Well, that's the then reward. So you can say discounts on products once per cart. Maybe you get free shipping if you buy three items in the bath category. Maybe you get a special gift, like I'm going to throw in a hat. Or I'm going to throw in a bar of soap because you bought three bath items. In that case, I would say then reward them with a gift in their cart, once per cart, including one unit of this terrarium. So if you buy three items in the bath category, you get a free terrarium, right? Obviously, this is, you know, kind of a weird setup, but you can see it's super, super flexible on, you know, what you can do for them to qualify for the reward and then what the reward could be. There's just all kinds of stuff in here. You could say, uh, make it a discount and say discounting it by a percentage of 10% off of the subtotal or give them $20 off because they bought three bath items. Once you're all done, click add. And you're almost done. Only thing left is usage limits. And this could be important because maybe you only want this coupon to go out for the next 100 people, right? So the first 100 people to buy three items in the bath category get 10% off or something. Then you can say, I want to limit this to only 100 uses. Or you can say, limit usage for individual customers if this is something that you only want people to use once. So this is an option that people use quite a bit. Um, let's see, allow usage with other promotions. Now, you need to be aware that there, there is potential for coupons to collide, right? So if you say that there's three coupons out there and they can be used in conjunction with other promotions, that means they stack. And there's coupon stacking hounds out there that would love to take advantage of people that allow their coupons to stack. So you may be okay with your coupon stacking. You may say, I don't want my coupons to stack. And so then you would choose can't and say, okay, under any circumstances or, you know, whatever gives the biggest discounts, what they get. Um, I'm going to leave this as can just to make it easy and click create promotion. Now the promotion exists. So now somebody can use this coupon for new 10 and qualify for the deal that I set. But they have to know about the coupon. And <clears throat> so that means that I need to tell them about the coupon. And that's it. All right. So let's look at automatic. So automatic is basically the same thing, except that they don't need a coupon. So you can see... When you come in here, you got the same same options here to schedule it, to put in the end date, you know, set the targeting, set the rules, set the usage. It's basically exactly the same thing, except now they just don't need a coupon code. So if they qualify for it, they're going to get it automatically, which is super, super nice. All right. Did I cover everything? Manage promotion priorities. So this would be where you can change the order in which they're executed, which is really nice. So you can say like this one is going to trump this one. I don't know if we can say trump anymore, but you can uh, decide the pecking order basically. All right. So I think that's pretty much everything that you guys need to know. I would avoid using the, the old coupon code system because I'm sure it's going to be deprecated sooner or later. Stick to the promotions and either create something that needs a coupon or don't. And use this to use this to increase your sales. I really appreciate you guys. Leave me a comment below if this helped you. Leave me a comment if you're stuck on something else or if you just want to say hi. If you're interested in our community, check us out at ecommerceamplifiers.com. And if you're interested in hiring me or my dev team, check us out at epicdesignlabs.com. Thanks so much. We'll talk soon.